Mary Hunt, we're living in extreme times right now. You've had a message that a lot of people have been following for a number of years, but uh, it's a message for today as well, isn't it? It is. And, you know, Charles, we, we are in extreme times. If you look globally, if you look nationally, if you look at the national economy. Mm-hmm. But I think that mm-hmm. we need to take our eyes off that. We need to look at our own personal economies. I can tell you when the world was doing really, really great, I was in a horrible state. Mm-hmm. And I can tell you there have been times when recessionary times have, have said, oh, we're in terrible, terrible financial times. But I and many other people I know were doing just fine. So mm-hmm. the national economy does not always track you know, just the same with our mm-hmm. personal economies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you think the Lord is telling Christians, though, in these extreme times, especially those followers of Jesus who uh, haven't really kept their financial house in order? Well, I can tell you what I think the Lord told me is that I think that I got into such horrible, <laughs> embarrassing credit card debt. Mm-hmm. I mean, I ran up more mm-hmm. than 100 thousand dollars of debt we could not pay mm-hmm. and this was non-mortgage this was many years ago mm-hmm. I, I think that I was so convicted with the fact that the way the reason that happened was because of emergencies you know mm-hmm. but everything I wasn't, was an emergency yeah, everything was an emergency but I wasn't willing to trust the Lord to, to take care of the emergencies mm-hmm. I trusted MasterCard and Visa far more than I trusted God I didn't even think about it you know mm-hmm. I mean God in mm-hmm. his word tells us he will supply all of our needs he wants to take care of us. We should take him at his word, shouldn't Absolutely, we? Absolutely, but I didn't let him do that. I, I was always running ahead, taking care of everything on myself. I knew better. You know, God was patient. He doesn't force his way on us. He didn't force himself on me. He waited until I was in such a horrible state that I just had to fall on my face. I can't do this. And then when I was willing to say, I can't do this, that's when God was able then to work through me Oh, my, the miracle. You know, it took a while. It took us 13 years to get out of debt, but we did it. Mm. And I think it was by by honoring God and saying, you know what? I trust your word. I believe what you say. I don't understand it. I don't understand how through giving and saving that we were able to get out of debt, but that's exactly what happened. Mm. Thank you. Bless you, Mary Hunt. Thank you.